Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this interesting radical math problem which is square root of 3 plus square root of t is equal to 3. So we will try to find out the value of this unknown t. Look into the left hand side there is square root over t. So we have to eliminate this square root from t and we have to find out the value of this t. Now to eliminate this square root from t here we have to take square on both sides. So here in the first we will take square on both sides. So this equation will become, this will become square root of 3 plus square root of t whole square is equal to 3 square. Now here in the left hand side we will use a famous subject identity a plus b whole square identity which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b. So here in the left hand side we will use this one algebraic identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b. So using this algebraic identity here our a is square root of 3 and our b is square root of t. So this equation will become square root of 3 whole square plus square root of t whole square plus 2 times square root of 3 times square root of t is equal to and here 3 square is simply 3 times 3 is 9. So here this square and this square will be cancelled in both the terms this will become 3 plus t plus 2 times here we can write this number this terms as we know that square root of a times b is equal to square root of a times square root of b. Now here this term is in this form. So we will change it from this one form to this form. So this will become 2 times square root of you multiply the number. So this will become 3t is equal to 9. Now here we will try to eliminate this square root from this t. So for that we will leave this number as the same in a single and we will move these two terms to the right hand side to make this single. So here we move this 3 and t to the right hand side. So this will become 2 times square root of 3t is equal to 9 minus this will become minus 3 minus t. Now let's simplify this right hand side. So this will become 2 times square root of 3t is equal to this will become 9 minus 3 is simply 6 minus t. Now again here we will take square on both sides. So let us take square on both sides. So this will become here this will be applied on this number as with as this number. So this will become 2 square times square root of 3t whole square. And here we will use the negative algebraic identity a minus b whole square identity which is equal to a square plus b square negative minus 2 times ab. So this will become 6 square plus t square minus 2 times 6 times t. So let's simplify these equations here 2 square is simply 4 and here this square and this square will be cancelled. This will become only 3t is equal to and here 6 square is simply 36 plus t square will be the same minus 2 times 6 is 12. So this is 12t. Here 4 times 3 is 12. So this is 12t. So here we will move this 12t to the right hand side. So this right hand side will become t square minus 12t and this will become negative 12t plus 36 is equal to 0. And let's further simplify this quadratic equation. This will become t square negative 12t negative 12t is negative 24t plus 36 is equal to 0. Look into this equation. This is a quadratic equation. So here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. So here we will use the quadratic formula to find out the roots of this quadratic equation. So to use the quadratic formula here, first we write the values of a, b and c. So here the value of a which is the coefficient of t square is 1. The value of b which is the coefficient of t is negative 24. And the value of c is simply the constant number which is 36. Now the quadratic formula is t is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now let us substitute the values of abc from here in the right hand side. So this will become t is equal to 
minus b the will op is negative 24 plus minus square root of b square b is negative 24 whole square minus 4 a c the value of a is 1 the value of c is 36 divided by 2 times a the value of a is 1 so let's simplify this right hand side so this will become negative time negative is positive so this is positive 24 plus minus here taking square over negative sign it has become positive because negative time negative is positive and 24 square is about 576 minus and here 4 times 36 is 4 times 6 is 24 so this is 4 to is carried 4 times 3 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 so this is 144 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 so further we can write this right hand side as this is 24 plus minus square root of and we can write 576 as 144 times 4 which gives him 576 minus 144 divided by 2 and we will take 144 common from these two numbers inside the square roots this will become this is equal to this is 24 plus minus square root of taking 144 common so this will become 4 minus 1 now 4 minus 1 is simply 3 divided by 2 so further 24 plus minus here we can write this 144 is 12 square so this is 12 square times 3 divided by 2 so next we will split this square root over these two numbers so this will become 24 plus minus this will become here this is 12 square times square root of 3 divided by 2 so here this square and this square will be cancelled so this will become only 12 so the value of t will become t is equal to 24 plus minus 12 times square root of 3 divided by 2 so next we will take 2 common from the numerator so this will become taking 2 common so this will become 12 plus minus 6 times square root of 3 divided by 2 so here this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled so the final value of t will become t is equal to 12 plus minus 6 times square root of 3 so finally here we have two possible values of t one is positive one is negative so these possible values of t are the positive value is t1 is equal to 12 plus 6 times square root of 3 this is the positive value of t and the second value of t which is negative one is 12 minus 6 times square root of 3 so this is the second and negative value of t so finally we have these two possible solutions